Yo, this is Trippy Red, and this is exactly who I am. <laughs> I got my name <clears throat> from friends. They used to call me Trippy Hippie. And I used to smoke and I just, I like trippy shit, like crazy shit, so. We just put Trippy and Hippie together and then red, cause I'm a blood. I'm from 14th Street, Canton, Ohio. The 14 is like on some spiritual shit. It's an angel, two different meanings. And uh, really, that's all it means. Growing up in Canton, Ohio is just like, it's just fairly small. For real, for real. Ain't shit there. It was just like growing up with a bunch of family. The radio put me on this shit. Like when I was young, Wayne and Chris Brown and all that, that was like Lil Pump and you know what I'm saying? That's what, what it was in that time. So, feel me? I just, I heard all them on the radio, so. You know, I just looked them up and ended up liking them. They were stars. I see them on BET, you know, shit like that, VH1. Tupac and all of them, and my mom used to listen to like a lot of Tupac, Ja Rule, Alicia Keys, and uh, Aaliyah, basically. I mean, I started writing around like 12, 13. It was like, it wasn't like the shit you hear now, it was some lyrical shit. That's what I was on, I was on the lyrical shit at first, so every time I freestyle, it was to impress my focus with that, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I did. Eventually I ventured off of that shit, but I still do it a lot. It's just not as fun as what I'm doing now. I like this, cause you feel me? So the melody just like set us up for real, for real. I mean, I started, that's when I really started listening to like Kiss and shit like that. That's why I started liking melodies and shit. What the fuck? And then my grandma would always play like slow jam or R&B shit. So I would hear a lot of that shit. I, would, I don't know too many names. I'm not familiar with like the people in it, but I'm familiar with the songs. Yeah, that's a, that's a big influence too, to, to the melodies. Well, how I met Lil Wap was a fan commented under my shit, his shit. And he was like, go fuck with Lil Wap. I'm like, oh, Lil Wap, all right. I went to his shit and heard that, uh, hey, Trout, hey, 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 Trout. It was like the first song he came out with, it was crazy. Yeah, after I heard that shit, I hit him up. I'm like, bro, we got a link. And then that nigga, I sent him to Addy. The nigga pulled up, a bunch of niggas, I didn't give a fuck. It was just like awesome, like, he became my brother off the rips. It was weird. It just vibe, but yeah. When I have my time off, it's still time off, technically. I just, I listen to my music and study it. I listen to new beats. <laughs> I vibe, I just chill. I do regular human shit. I be with my friends and shit, smoking. We do everything a normal motherfucker would do. Go to the mall, pay bills, <laughs> <laughs> go to the bank. <laughs> I mean, some people may not know, I play the game a lot. I, I play Call of Duty and shit. That's a hidden talent, I guess. I be whooping niggas' asses. Mike's going nuts. I be talking hellish. I'm gonna search and destroy. I be in parties with a whole bunch of them. I, I, I be inviting my fans to parties on Xbox and shit. Talking to them too. I be talking shit to them too. They be talking shit to me, it be so funny. <laughs> Me and X is homies, that's like one of my best friends. I call that nigga and talk to him every day. He called me, talked to me every day. He DM me and then I linked up with him and then ever since then, it was just like with the WAP situation, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was just, we wasn't on some music shit as soon as we linked up, you know what I'm saying? We was just like on some friend shit, we were chilling. So I just got to know him, bro smart, very intelligent, and he a good dude, you know what I'm saying? Me and Wayne, it was me and Wayne. I met Wayne, and yeah, we did some shit. He hopped on two songs, you know what I'm saying? You'll, you'll see them later on. I don't know when exactly I'm gonna drop them, but I'm gonna do it. But yeah, it was fire. Uh, nah, I don't never get starstruck. It was just more so like, damn, my idol in the same room, talking to me, 
all this shit. But it's like I played it cool. It wasn't no fans. I'm a fan, but I'm not a, you know what I'm saying? I'm still, a, I'm an artist now, so I look at him like, you my big brother slash rival. <laughs> I can't compete with, with Wayne, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> The biggest misconception people have really is just like, they just judge me before they listen. That's all it is. I guess if you can do that, that's kind of weird to me. I don't know. I don't judge people. Judge people for how they look. That's kind of whack. <laughs> I'm a pretty ugly nigga, so, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>